Hi, I'm Teacher Edgar. We're going to be working on Intentional Teaching Card M5, Sorting and Classifying. The objectives are uses classification skills and uses number concepts and operations. Here's what you're going to need. Get three different containers that you can use to sort and make them different sizes. I have a small, medium, and large one here. And that's just to fit on the table. But you can get them uh, much bigger, much smaller, whatever you have, and put them on the floor, especially if you're using, for instance, a laundry basket, and something even smaller if you have it, like maybe a little jar, whatever you have with whatever space you have, and then get a collection of objects that are also different sizes, but the same type of object. For instance, I have here a collection of Lego building bricks, or you could use something like different size erasers, or even different kinds of stones, different sizes. And what you're gonna be asking your child to do is to sort them. And then you're gonna talk, talk about them a little bit, and then maybe even do a little counting. So this is gonna be working on cognitive development, specifically in the area of mathematics. Let's try it. Emmett, come on over. Hello. So, I have three different containers here, right? Yes. We have one that is small, and we have one over here that's big. And what would you call this one? Medium, that's right. You'll notice out of habit, I use some manual signing and something I recommend too, especially if your child is uh, pre-verbal. It's a great way for them to communicate and express themselves. And, and it allows you to know what's going on with them too. So what we're gonna be doing is playing just a really easy game of putting things in objects that match their size. Okay. Let's try it. I have some, uh, what are these called? Erasers. Oh, erasers, thank you, thank you. And I'm gonna put them there and I wanna see where you think those go because of their size. So what do you think? Take a look. And why do you think it goes in there? Oh, that makes sense because it's really small. So small goes with small. What else do you think? Those go in the medium. I wonder why. They are bigger than the pumpkin. If we put them next to it, yeah, that is bigger. So I would put them in there too. But how about that last one? I, I don't know where it goes. Why? That makes sense. Thank you. You can go ahead and put it in there. You were really good at this game, but now I want to see. Can you tell me which one has more? Let's double check. How many do we have in here? One. Okay, let's count this one. Oh, let's count this. One, two. two, you were right. This one has more. Thank you, Emmett. Yep. You can do this with many more objects. In fact, I recommend it, but also make that judgment based on your child's counting skills. We don't want to overwhelm them with more than they can count. But this was just a small amount for the purposes of this demonstration. So just household items same type if you can, and then just have them sort. And remember, you can get containers that are much bigger and even smaller if you want, and you can use some keyword vocabulary. And what's great about this activity is, if your child is pre-verbal, you can just ask them to point to things. For instance, can you show me which one is small? And they can just point, or you can help them point with some gentle hand-over-hand -hand guidance, just to tap on the answer that you're looking for or that they may be looking for. And if they make a mistake, that's okay. You can just reward the attempt, say, oh, you really tried to get the answer. Let's try that together and then guide them to the answer that you are seeking. So lots of praise and don't worry about getting mountains, just more than this, because this again was just a demonstration. You're developing your cognitive development skills with a specific focus on mathematics and it's easy and fun. Try it. Thanks for tuning in.